thank you all for coming today. Whether you came to run, you came to support Wounded Warrior, or you came to see what we're going to do here in this ceremony, we appreciate you being here. This is a record turnout for us, so we're very pleased. Um, I'd like to thank the uh, Spartacan Nation for coming back to Connecticut. This is the third annual Wounded Warrior 5K trail run. Uh, we'd like to thank the uh, Silver Dolphins uh, Colored Guard from the Naval Submarine School here in Groton. And we would also like to thank Wendy Bungie for her singing of the National Anthem. <laughs> Chapter Director of Honor and Remember. Today we're here to uh, honor one of Connecticut's fallen heroes. Since the Revolutionary War, brave men and women have left their homes, their families, their communities to defend the ideals and values that make this country a great nation. Many of these soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines have sacrificed their futures for our freedom, for the future of others. Today we're here to honor the sacrifice of another brave young man from Waterford and that of his family. I would like to also recognize the other Gold Star families who are with us today. The family of Staff Sergeant Ari Cullors, United States Army, and the family of Navy Chief Special Warfare Operator Brian Bill. Uh, the Bill family we presented a flag to them last year at this event. Colors family presented a flag to them on a special day, March 30th, just this uh, past year. <laughs> Corporal Kemapu Chanawanse, United States Marine Corps, also known as On by his friends, and Chuck, short for Chuckle, by his fellow Marines, because of his ability to make them laugh, is the Marine that we're here to honor today. It's appropriate that we're honoring him today at this location so close to the sea. Corporal Ahn has traveled across many seas in his lifetime to bring us all here today. Born in Thailand, he came to the United States at age nine with his mother and spent his early life in Waterford. He was an avid soccer player and enjoyed snowboarding. Ahn related to his immigrant uh, status proudly, referring to himself as a Thai import. From his youth, Ahn knew that he wanted to serve, following in the tradition of his grandfather, who was a group commander in the Royal Thai Air Force. Once he graduated from Waterford High School, he entered the Marine Corps. As a corporal, his service took him to Iraq, across another great sea. On March 23, 2003, Corporal Ahn became one of the first casualties of the war and the first casualty from Connecticut. He was part of a group that was told to secure a bridge near Nasiria, and they encountered what appeared to be Iraqi civilians seeking to surrender, but, what, but were surprised when the men opened fire. Eleven soldiers were killed, and eight others ran to a more secure area. Corporal Ahn was listed as missing in action until April 16th.